Elliot, you missed out on the top five in the order of merit and earning your Challenge Tour card by the narrowest of margins last year, just £73. How did that feel and how did it affect your preparations coming into this season? Uh, to be honest, you know, you can dwell on it as much as you want, but it is what it is. You know, I played with Wallace in the first two rounds and he was the man I kind of had to beat. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, to shoot the same scores in, at Woburn, that's the way golf is, unfortunately. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you go away and you, you know, you, you spend a bit of time practicing and preparing for this. And the weather's not been great up in Scotland. So we went away to um, Spain and Portugal to play the Jamiga Tour. Mm -hmm. I had a couple of events in the Gecko Tour. Um, managed to win one in the Jamiga Tour. So, you know, it kicks, start, it kicks your season off nicely. And it's always nice to get a wee win before you come mm -hmm. to the Euro Pro. And, and here we are, first event of the year. You and Lloyd both qualified for the Open Championship in 2009 and yeah. you were there again last year. That's How right. was that experience for you, seeing up with the best it, in the world? It was amazing, it really was amazing. And uh, 2009, the approach was different than 2011, sorry, 2012. You know, 2012 was a bit more experienced and I went there with a different, a different attitude, a different mindset. Mm -hmm. um, I felt I can, and I still do feel I can compete at the top level with these big guys. I played great practice rounds with Adam Scott and mm -hmm. Steve Stricker, and of course Adam Scott went on to win the Masters, and um, Steve Williams, Adam Scott, has given me so many nice compliments. And it's, you know, these guys are the, the players you want to be around and compete Absolutely. against. Um, and these, you just use the Euro Pro and Challenge to a stepping stones. Mm -hmm. And you got your European Tour card for the 2011 yeah. season. What did that experience of being there week in, week out really teach you? Um, having your, your, your European Tour card, first off, you know, it's just an excitement. It's like a big mm -hmm. kid in a, a big toy shop, if you like. Um, but when I get it back again, it's going to be all different. Same as Open, you, you know, once you mm -hmm. get through it and do it, a number of times things become easier to you and at the end mm -hmm. of the day it's just a golf course it's just the game of golf that's I think that's the whole killer in golf is the mindset and whether you're playing European Tour, US Open, the Open Championship, whatever it is it's all in the mind we're all capable mm -hmm. of playing golf and you've just got to keep it steady. Mm -hmm. And your best result of that year was at the Saab Wales Open where you recorded two holes in one at the 17th uh, you must have fond memories of that hole. Yeah the Saab was a very nice tournament um, I had three hole in ones in my year in the main tour, and there was no cars or anything, just my body weight and harm. <laughs> but um, that 17th hole, I'd only ever seen it on telly when the Ryder Cup was on. Mm -hmm. And so it was two hole in one tournaments, you know, it's, it's not often heard of, but it was a great event for me. And a win on the Euro Pro Tour last season over in Ireland yeah. in Cork. How did that feel to get a win under your belt there? You know, it's always great whether you win here or Jamaica or main tour, a win's a win at the end mm -hmm. of the day. And, you get massive confidence from it and it just so happened my confidence was flying so high after qualifying for the Open the day before, you know, coming to coming to Ireland and just playing my capabilities, what I was what I was basically what I've been practicing on. Um, and to go out and shoot ten under in the last round is you know, it's a round that'll always stick with me and it just goes to show that it's in there. I just got to mm -hmm. keep trying to bring it out as, as often as I can. And you've made a positive start to the year. There are five places up for grabs in the Scottish Hydro Challenge on the Challenge Tour after the first three events of the Euro Pro Tour season. Uh, is that something that's high on your agenda, playing in front of a home crowd and making the move up to the Challenge Tour? Absolutely. I mean, it's first and foremost, you, you know, you're in one tournament, you take that tournament as it comes, but at the end of the day, there is we out, outdoors, if you like, to take you to different avenues. And mm -hmm. the Challenge Tour is somewhere where I would like to be, but use it as a stepping stone to bigger and better things. And the Scottish Hydro event up in Abbey Moors, you know, the, the place is just beautiful. It's a great mm -hmm. place to be around, and Lloyd will be there, and hopefully my other brother Zach will be there as well. So it'll be a great family event. and played in it the last two years and you know looking forward to it this year. So all in all confident of uh, making a move in the right direction this year and hopefully getting that top five place on? Yeah absolutely I mean I did a lot of mind work and you know reassess my game and to be good at this game you've got to shoot under par every, every round you play mm -hmm. as I said whether it doesn't matter what level you play on I'm not far away and yeah. to win tournaments you've got to shoot under par every round so everything's going well so far. <laughs>